Okay, so hello everyone, welcome. Good evening from my side. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Good evening. Okay, good evening. Okay, just we are waiting one minute for joining all of those other participants. Then we'll start our session. Okay. In the meantime, I also give you an announcement for our upcoming online training program on Google Earth Engine for remote sensing analysis from beginners to advanced level. Basically, this class will be start from the 10th February and admission last day is the 9th February and booking last day is the 8th February. But first 10 is when we'll get the 50% discount. So now only seven seats are available. And this total seven days online training program and it's the total class duration the three hours each day this is the class time and uh, if you want to interest to join this online training program you can simply contact in this whatsapp number as well as if you want you can also contact with this email okay so basically this online training program we are focusing for the beginners who don't have any knowledge about that google earth engine or who don't have any knowledge about the programming or coding javascript or python if you have no knowledge this course is for you. After completing this total seven days online training program, you are able to do any types of remote sensing analysis very quickly and efficiently using Google Earth Engine. So here you can see all of those course content for the first day. Also you can see the second day, third day, fourth day, fifth and sixth and seventh day. So basically I already added all of those things in the video description if you want to check it and then you can join easily as well as you also get the some benefit when you want to join my live training session you can get the course certificate of submitting all of those assignment you can get the materials mainly slide pdf you can get the practice code you can get the recorded class up if you miss any live training session you can easily cover using the recorded class and you can get the lifetime teaching support it is very important as a beginners when you want to learn the google earth engine platform you face lot of problem so that's why you need the continuous support. So that's why after completing the total seven days online training program further, when you face any problem regarding any issue in your code, you can easily get the lifetime testing support when you want to join this seven days online training program. For any issue, you can easily connect with me and you can easily get the solution about that. And if you want to join this online training program, you can simply contact in this WhatsApp number as well as you can also contact with this email. Then simply book your seat and join in our Google Classroom as well as also join in our uh, WhatsApp group. Thank you. For... Okay, so okay, so now we'll start with the session. So basically, today I will try to discuss about that uh, air quality monitoring, how we can easily do using Google Earth Engine platform. So I simply share my screen and try to show you this topic for today's session. So now, can you see my screen? Okay, so basically, today I will try to discuss about this topic mainly fifth day. So, mainly air quality monitoring, all parameters, uh, where mainly Sentinel 5. Where you have the signal 5 satellite imagery, uh, all of parameters mainly nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide, formaldehyde, uh, methane, this type of parameter, how we can easily make the uh, concentration map and how to download the air quality parameters time series data in CSV for, uh, file using Google Earth Engine, 
how we can easily make the air quality monitoring time series chart as well as how to cal uh, calculate the total emission of any gases in this time i show you the nitrogen dioxide but using this process you can easily calculate the total emission of any gases using google earth engine platform and we also talk about the arcmap software today's session also mainly arcgis arcmap uh, how to use the arcmap software to make the research paper map uh, using ge and arcmap software so mainly after downloading the tpms how we can easily handle using the arcmap software i also try to show you this for today's session okay so just to simply open my slide So first of all here you can see this is the one kind of map nitrogen dioxide and methane uh, gas concentration map so here is a methane concentration map of quit so basically you can see uh basically this data set we struck from the sentinel 5 satellite imagery we struck the information methane and here you can see this is the unit about the ppb okay and also you can see this is another map nitrogen dioxide concentration year of 2020 month of january and you can see this unit is that mainly mole per meter squared so basically in sentinel uh, 5 satellite imagery we can get the different types of unit okay but we can easily convert this type of unit and get this result i also show you that how we can easily convert this unit as well as also you can see this is another map about the nitrogen dioxide label rebound in bangladesh so basically different time period we download the data from google Earth engine platform and further we are just make the classification here you can see very low low medium high very high concentration different time period so we just simply download the data as a tip format and further we are just make the map using arcmap software okay so i also show you that how we can easily create this type of map using arcmap software so in this time air quality monitoring using sentinel 5 satellite imagery so basically sentinel 5 satellite imagery is focused on air quality and composition climate interaction with the main data product being nit ozone nitrogen dioxide sulfur uh, sulfur dioxide formaldehyde aerosol carbon monoxide methane this type of gases can easily access from here and this is the data set link you can simply go to this link and you can easily access all of those sentinel 5 satellite uh, data set all of those product we can easily access from here or if you want you can simply uh, go to suppose you simply open your code editor from the code editor you just simply search here suppose you can simply browse data catalog you can see click on here and further click on the sentinel Here you can see you can get all of those Sentinel 5 uh, image collection. So I want to work for that Sentinel 5, mainly tropophy, tropospheric monitoring instrument. This data set I want to use and further uh, make the map, different types of air quality parameters. So here you can see we can easily access the um, uh, different types of gases, ozone, methane, formaldehyde, aerosol, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide. So all of those gases we can easily access from here you can see. Okay, you can see there is ozone also you can see the methane sulfur dioxide so in this time from here we are just work with the google earth engine platform and then calculated the total emission of nitrogen dioxide then make the different types uh, time series chart as well as also export this data for a specific boundary region so this type of things i try to discuss one by one so in this time suppose i want to work for that uh, nitrogen dioxide okay you are also apply the same things for the ozone or other gases you are apply the same approach so i want to show you suppose nitrogen dioxide you are also try to apply the same approach for other gases also so first of all you can see we can get the data set availability time period this is the time period about the data set availability and uh, here you can see that as it provided is the mainly european union yes copernicus and you can get the artisan cinepet basically this is the unique id of this data set and here we can get the different types of uh, information about this data set also you can see the bands so basically in this time we can get this type of band you can see nitrogen column number density we can get the different types of uh, phase such as tropospheric phase stratospheric so in this time uh, here you can see i want to make the density map 
So for that, I want to use it, uh, this column, this band, nitrogen column number density. This is the resolution about that, 1113.2 uh, meter. So first of all, I just simply import this data set in my code editor. So just simply copy this unique ID, copy, and then paste in the code editor. And further give a variable name. I just give a variable name, suppose um, data set. Okay, you can put any name, no problem. So this is my data set for that nitrogen dioxide column number density I want to use. So for that, I simply use a select function and select my specific band which I want to use. I want to use here this band nitrogen column number density. Simply copy and you can see this is a mole per meter square. Okay. And then uh, paste. And further, just uh, if you want to check, simply print and check how much images we can get in this collection for the whole world. Now check. We can get this uh, 28,624 image collection are available for this full image collection between this time period, year of 2018 to 2024. This time period, we can get the total number of images, uh, 28,624. But I want to work for that, uh, suppose, a specific time period, such as one year or one month or two months or any specific time period. For that, I simply use the filter date function. And put the specific start date and end date. Such as I put the start date, suppose year of 2023, suppose uh, December, suppose uh, 1st December, suppose I take for that um, December 2023, suppose December uh, 31. Okay, so I take for one month. So now we check how many images we can get for the one month. So we can get total 425 images for one month. So now this is my data set. Okay. So using this data set, I want to make the time series chart. Suppose I want to observe what is the condition of uh, nitrogen dioxide in Dhaka city. Okay. So just I simply import my Dhaka city boundary shape file. Here you can see this is my Dhaka city boundary shape file. I already imported this boundary shape file in here. So just I simply import it. And then further I want to check the year of 2023 month of december what is the condition of nitrogen dioxide when it will be high when it will be low what is the trend about that i'm going to check it from here so just simply import and give a variable name i suppose uh, ry okay so now i want to check this result so for doing these things here you can see i just simply put here uh, our function ui dot chart dot image dot Phrase okay, so basically, this is the function. Uh, we already discussed about the function basically, it, uh, when you want to make the time series chart using image collection for a specific region, then we are use this function ui chart image dot series. So now I just simply make a dictionary, so just curly bracket start and also curly bracket int. So, first of all, image collection image collection mainly how many images you want to use in this time. I want to use total. 425 image collection okay just simply copy this image collection and paste okay then region in this time it's your area area of interest in this time my area of interest is the dhaka city i already import my area of interest in dhaka city and give a variable name is the roi so just put here roi now reducer i want to calculate that average result so just use a ee dot reducer dot mean it's calculated the average result and then further suppose a scale a scale is mainly uh it show the your scale uh same your resolution 1113.2 meter i simply use the same value test and then give x property A default we are using at the system time start system time start so now whole things I want to store it in a variable. Just give a variable, suppose chart, and now print this chart. So print 
electron. So now it's generating a chart. From this chart, we can easily observe what is the condition of uh, nitrogen dioxide for the different time. You can see you can get this type of chart. And in this time, this chart has a problem. This problem you can see when I want to show it show the zero. You can see zero, zero, zero. You can get the zero value. Okay, you can see we can get the zero value. In this time, it shows the zero value 